We've got a pretty quick lesson here on whether or not an ordered pair is a solution for an equation. Does it satisfy the equation? Um, if you remember how we made uh, a, a linear equation, how we graphed it, we just got a whole bunch of points and we plotted them. We got those from input output tables. Well, there's, there's infinite number of points. Um, not all of them land on the line. So the question is, does a particular point land on the line? Is it a solution? Um, and so that's what we're going to look at. This is going to be a pretty brief lesson on how do we know if something satisfies an equation. Um, and these are all going to be yes or no answers. Um, so let's just go ahead here and get the dot cam ready. And so for this particular lesson, this will be an IXL as well. Um, the question is going to be, does the point satisfy the equation? And you will say yes or no. Um, well, if we look at the first example, it says y equals x. So this is a pretty basic equation. And then it wants to know, does this point satisfy the equation? Well, this is x and this is y. In order for it to satisfy the equation, when you plug in, it has to balance and make a true statement at the end. So I'm going to take this zero and I'm going to plug it in for the letter X. So that becomes zero. I'm going to take the seven because that's the Y value and I'm going to plug it in right here. So when I plug those two values in, there is nothing else to do. There's no rule. There's no adding. There's multiplying. Does seven equal zero? And the answer is no. Seven does not equal zero. So zero comma seven does it satisfy the equation? You would simply say, no, it does not. Because when I plugged it in, it made a statement that was false. Well, let's look at another example. Here's our X and Y. So I'm gonna plug in. Now this one makes me do a little bit of work to the X because it's four X, which means four times X. So when I plug in the one, this becomes four times one equals, and I'm going to replace the y with three. Well, does three equal four times one? And the answer again is no. Let's look at a yes. So this is an example that will be a yes coming up here. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't want to show that yet. Let's slide over to this example. So over here, I have y equals 2x. And here's my x, and here is my y. So I'm going to take this 2, and I'm going to plug it in for x. And 2 is touching x, which means multiply. So this becomes 2 times x, or 2 times 2. The y is going to get replaced with 4. Well, for this example, does 4 equal 2 times 2? And this one ends up being a true statement. So this one is yes. That point does satisfy the equation. So all you're simply going to do is take the x and the y value and plug in and then see if the math matches on both sides of the equals. So let's look at two harder examples here that are going to be a slightly more complex because there's going to be a few more steps. So this is a linear equation that says y equals 3x minus 7. And I have my x and my y. Well, x is 0, so I'm going to plug that in here. And y is negative 7, so I'm going to plug that in here. So the y is going to become negative 7, because that's from here, equals 3 times x, which means 3 times 0 minus seven. Well, let's do three times zero. Three times zero is zero minus seven, and then bring down the minus seven here. Does negative seven equal zero minus seven? And negative seven is equal to zero minus seven. So yes, that is a solution. Let's look at one more example here for plugging in. Here's my x comma y. Negative 5 is going to go in place of the x, and 2 will go in place of the y, and then we'll see if it makes 
two equal signs. So y becomes two equals x becomes negative five, and then bring down the plus seven. Negative five plus seven, well, integer rules, they're different signs, so I subtract and keep the larger sign, which becomes two, and two equals two, they equal the same thing, so this one is a yes. So all you're going to do is take that ordered pair and plug it in and then determine whether or not the two sides are equal to each other. So our first two were no, because they gave me statements that were not equal. Seven does not equal zero. Three is not equal to four times one. But then I started getting yes, because they gave me statements that did make sense and were true. Four does equal two times two. Negative seven is equal to zero minus seven. Two is equal to negative five plus seven. So all you're gonna do is figure out if it makes a true statement and then you are going to say yes or no based on what you see. So a very quick and brief lesson on does an ordered pair satisfy the equation?